Okay, right now the search is on for the shooter who killed an elderly couple in Fort Lauderdale. Police believe the killer may have taken off in the victim's car. CBS News Miami's Yvonne Taylor talked to the couple's daughter who's pleading for justice. The scene of the crime is this house where the couple lived for over 40 years. Tonight, their daughter is still saying why. The pain, is, the pain will never go away. It's my mother. It's been a week since Tanya Mitchell has been enduring a heart-wrenching pain. According to Fort Lauderdale Police, her parents, 89-year-old Major Melvin and 82-year-old Claudette Melvin, were shot to death at their home in Melrose Park on Friday. After basically a week, is there any lead of anybody in custody of any suspect? No, not at this time, no. All we're getting is it's under investigation. A family member was sleeping in the back bedroom of the Melvin's home the night of the tragedy. My mother brother that lives with them and has been here for the last 20 years, he apparently was back there in the room sleep. He didn't hear anything, the cover over his head. Apparently he got up to go use the restroom and then come to the kitchen as he normally does. And as he was coming to the kitchen, he discovered her on the floor. He then proceeded to call his sister, the other sister, my mom, baby sister. That was the 911 call revealed on Thursday. My brother just called me. I don't have my car. I can't get over there. It happened in the 600 block of Southwest 30th Terrace. Mitchell said whoever committed the crime did not seem to steal anything from her parents. Has anything changed from that moment till no, now? Sir. No, sir. He had money in his pocket, hundreds. She had money in her purse, hundreds. And all they took was her car. Detective said the vehicle has a scratch on the back driver's side door and dents on the back bumper. Police are urging the public to be on the lookout for this vehicle. Now, if you know something, heard something, or saw something, contact Crime Stoppers of Broward. You call can remain anonymous. In Fort Lauderdale, Ivan Taylor, CBS News, Miami.